for this week's tip of the week, I'd like to talk about why the tools, and in today's case, why the laser rod. Laser rod's been an important tool in our arsenal of tools. Standard laser rod starts in inches at one point and graduates up. When I go to a job site and I want to get a reading, say for a benchmark, say I'm going to do a pool patio, I might go over to my pool cope and set it on the coping. I'm going to move my receiver till it beeps solid. It's going to beep. Okay, I tighten it up. And now I look at my reading. This reading here might be 13 and 13 16, so a real awkward number. And all of a sudden, you've got to do all your elevations off of that point, up or down, depending on what you're doing. So the difference with our laser rod is we built it really easy, and it simplifies the math extremely. This is built on the zero system. We have zero here in the center, inches on the right, centimeters on the left. Inches on the right, centimeters on the left. From zero, it graduates up in inches and centimeters, graduates down inches and centimeters. We also have a stopper. So this has an internal foot in it. This allows me to set any point on my job site to zero elevation. What we've also done with this laser rod on the other side is we create it with zero either at the top or I can reverse the pole where zero is at the bottom. So it's real handy if I've got a raised ranch with a, that I need a lot of elevation figuring out my step treads and whatnot. I can get my, my laser reading at zero here at the bottom and I can graduate down my 6, 12, 18, and so forth and so on. Today I'd like to talk to you just a little, about, a little bit just to show you the, the ease of installation on a pool patio. So say, for instance, I have a pool patio, and I'm going to go out, for instance, say 15 feet. ICPI recommends 3 16 pitch per foot. That's about 1 inch and 5 feet. So that's generally what I'll use as a standard, 1 inch and 5 feet. Say I'm going to go out that 15 feet off my pool coping, at that point, it's going to be minus three. So I take my, my plan and I'll write right on there my grade, minus three, and I circle it. From that point on my patio, see, I'm going to go down three six inch steps, another 18. So 18 plus the minus three, minus 21. I write that on my plan. I can do all this in the office, minus 21 at the bottom of those stairs. On the other side of the pool, say I'm out only 10 feet, minus two, write that on my plan. And now, say, I'm going to go up, say, four steps six inch stairs. So now I got 24 inches of elevation difference, but now this puts me the other side of zero. So I got to subtract off the, tw uh, the two inches from that. So at the top of those stairs, I'm going to be plus 22 inches. Well, what that allows me to do when my guys take our plan and they go out to the job site and they say, okay, Phil's got zero set of pool coping. I've got up and down elevations. They're going to pick the zero that's in the center of the laser rod. So what I'm going to do is I'll just find zero here. They'll literally lock the laser at zero, they'll get their laser spinning on sight, the internal foot now, they move this till it's beeping, beep, tighten this up. Now all their math is built into this rod. They know out that 15 feet, minus three inches, they're gonna slide up to the minus three. They're gonna go down again, those three six inch stairs, another 18 plus your three, minus 21. They slide up to minus 21, they have their elevation. The other side of the pool, right, you're going minus two to that out 10 feet minus two now you're going the other way because you've got to add 24 inches now of elevation this way so now you're plus 22 now you're down here at the plus 22 point so really fast really efficient there's no math once the site plan is laid out in your grade plan you're just easily moving this laser rod up and down if you uh, end up bailing a, spo a spoils pile in the way of the laser now it's it, you can't see it. it's out of visibility you just simply can move your laser to another point. Now it's over here. Beep, I lock it in. I go home for the day, I pick up my laser, I set it up in a different spot. Again, I'm just easily just picking it up and locking it in. Been a tremendous game changer for us in the field. Our guys absolutely love this tool. It really speeds up uh, the process, helps with our dig out. And I always tell people probably the biggest way people are wasting money is over digging. We get on our equipment and it's easy to dig, 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 dig. So with this here, all I do to all my finished grades, I tell our guys, add the 10 inches. That's your seven inches of ICPI certified gravel, your three inches of paver and sand. So a really simple, really quick way to uh, do your dig outs. So I highly recommend it. It's been uh, immense help to us and hopefully it can be to you.